Welcome to another Caillou Talks, Caillou Talks. Today we're going to talk about the definition of success. Lots of people think that success is just winning, but some people think that succeeding is having a great and prosperous life. Well, most people think it's both. But I'm here to tell all you guys a different form and a different definition of success. It's putting your whole heart into everything you do, going against the grain, working hard for what you love and for people that you love. Success is being yourself no matter what, what anyone tells you. Success is a very, very deep term. It's not just about having a great life or winning everything you do. It's about trying and giving your all, putting your whole heart into everything you do. Success is only achieved with purpose. I've been reading this super awesome book called Lessons for Living, What Only Adversity Can Teach You by a cool guy named Phil Stutz. And I'll be sharing you my, my next Caillou Talks, some of my favorite parts of the book. What Phil says, it sounds like he's my friend, but I actually I don't know him. I just read his book. Anyway, Phil says the only way to figure out who you are and what your purpose is and what you should be doing with your life is to activate your life force. So for the life force he drew is like this little pyramid. And he made three levels. The bottom level represents your relationship with your physical body. Second level represents your relationship with other people. Third on top is the final one. Represents with yourself. For the bottom level, all you have to do is to get your body working better. Simple as that, right? Just exercise, sleep well, and eat healthy and good food. This is where you must start. Phil claims that this level takes up around 85% of the importance on the pyramid in order for you to feel better. Seriously, lots of so stunts. For the middle level, your relationships with other people. Phil says relationships with other people are like handholds for climbing. They pull you back into life. And the key is that you have to take the initiative. You can't just wait for other people to take the initiative. Start by asking anyone to sit down with you at lunch. Call them. Reach out. It will still have a positive effect. As humans, we require a connection. And at the top of the pyramid is your relationship with yourself. Get yourself in relationship with your own conscience. It's like your inner self, that part that only you know. The one tip Phil gives us to find that part of you is to write a journal. The one thing, you don't have to be a good writer. Let me just put that down. You just need to write. And it doesn't matter what it is about. Just try it. If you're at a point in your life where you feel lost and you don't feel like you're being successful, let it go. And simply just work on your life force first. It's all about passion. First, you need to be passionate about your life force. Then you find out what you're passionate about. I shared with you all my challenges. My autism, the bullying, all of it. Phyllis helped me realize that there's a purpose for all of that. And as long as I focus on my life force, I will be successful. The only thing I would add is faith. I have a lot of faith. My grandmother has taught me to have faith in God. And for you, it may be something different. But for me, working on my life force paired up with my faith in God and it's all I need to be successful. Thanks for listening because this time I needed to talk. Until next time, I'm Caillou Talks.